guest today is a man that makes poetry his life and uses that to bring comfort and joy to others. We welcome Dave Wilkes from Just Divine. Dave, thank you very much for coming on Copper TV. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Wonderful to see you. And obviously, you've got some beautiful things on my table here, so we'll come to those in a minute. But okay. Dave, you are you call yourself a modern day poet, don't yes, you? Yes, really? that's right. So yeah. tell us how that all began for you. Well, um, for me, it started off with like greeting cards. Mm -hmm. Whenever it was somebody special, um, birthday or a wedding, on the uh, left hand side of the card, nine times out of ten it was always blank. Not for me. <laughs> I was filling out from the top of the uh, card to the bottom with all funny stuff about my friend, about a special person, you know. Um, and I kept on just writing different bits and pieces, uh, funny stuff, motivational stuff. Then my dad said to me, do you know what, a lot of your words are great. I think you know, need to start putting them into like frames. And I thought, yeah, it's a good idea. So I started off with like A4 frames uh, with the personalised poems to friends, family and friends. And then I've just started doing all different size frames, you know, five, uh, five foot by four foot. So it's really sort of taken off. Yeah, it's starting to take off now. And, and when, and when you do that, David, have you always written? Is it something you've always done as a child, or um, did you just kind of fall into it? I, f I fell into it. Um, I used to do a bit of DJing um, years ago, and I think rhyming uh, whilst I was doing my DJing was um, a bit of a help. So, um, I've always been that rhyming type of person. So you've been that creative, you've had yeah. that creative side, really. Yeah, and then obviously uh, putting my words into frames and using different images within my poem, like, you know, sunsets and stuff like that. A um, bit of help from my daughter, uh, who's 16 now. Um, she's made me get a little bit more creative uh, with the pieces that I do. Wonderful. Yeah. And when you're and when you're writing them, do you do you sort of get to know that person first before you write that? How does it work? Yeah. Well, it's um, when somebody calls me to say, Dave, I want a personalised poem for my daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll talk on the phone just to get a little bit of a feel um, of the type of character that I'm writing for. Mm -hmm. They'll give me five special bullet points: mm -hmm. loving, caring, I love your smile. Um, Whatever the special between you and that person, just give me five, six bullet points, and then when I'm sitting at my ch sitting on my chair, my desk, in pure silence, I'm going in. Mm. Yeah, and and I get how really it works. deep, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's how it but I've got to be in a, a, a silent area. Yeah, I was going to talk. say, do you, it sounds like you do. You have a very quiet area to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. And it, does it come quite once you've got that area and you've found sort of what you want to do? Does the creativity mm -hmm. then just flow? Yeah, it, it does. It does. Sometimes um, the first two or three verses just got to start getting to the flow. Once I've got the two verses out of out of the way, it starts flowing, um, and then. You know, for an A4 poem, you're probably going to get about seven to eight verses. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's for you to tell me, do you want it as a funny poem? Um, you know, whether it's for a best man uh, at a wedding, I can do funny stuff. Um, motivational and inspirational stuff is what I enjoy doing as well. Gonna, that's your favourite? Yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah, I just love to help people, to be honest, and um, just to give them that little smile mm -hmm. and uh, just to get them ready for the day as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're the, you're the guy to go to if you need a yeah. greeting card then. <laughs> most definitely, most definitely, So yeah. let's have a look at some of your work then. Okay so, then. Would you like to read us some of your work? Would that be yeah, possible? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Um, okay, what would you like to read first? Well, I've got this one. Yes, um, let's have a look. Show it this to is my daughter, mm -hmm. okay? Um, her name's JD. Very beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the reason why I named Just Divine okay. JD, Just Divine. Um, my bullet points from me to my daughter is inside here. Mm. And I'll just quickly read yes, what I said absolutely. to my daughter at this particular time. JD's school days. To my beautiful daughter, who I love so much, I love you more than you love your hairbrush. Thank you so much for not giving me troubles. You make me so proud, my little bubbles. Your looks, your smile, they're a part of me. And great things will soon happen, you just wait and see. I will guide and teach you the best way I can. And remember, people don't plan to fail. They only fail to plan. I'm planning that we'll have happiness, love and peace, money, 
during our work, rest and play. And I want you to be blessed throughout every hour of your day. Oh, how lovely is that? So you did that, was that for us? birthday? Um, no, or it was just, just because? it was just me wanting to just say something to my daughter. Yeah. It doesn't have to be for a special occasion. Um, it can be for that moment and that's what I wanted to say to my uh, daughter at that time. She's got about a hundred of them in her bedroom and all yeah. that kind of stuff. But <laughs> you yeah, got, that's you what You've got to have a fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and then what, like you were reading that poem um, there, Dave, is that something that you, you can do as well? You can go yeah. in and talk to people? Because I know you've been visiting yeah, schools most, and things, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I do weddings. I get invited to uh, weddings to read the poem out that I've done for the, the bride and groom. Um, that must be very special because you're part of a very special day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, I've done it for weddings, funerals. I uh, did one last Saturday for a 60th birthday. So I went to the uh, function and they called me out and I did one of my larger uh, poems. Mm. And, um, and you enjoy doing touching. that bit as well? I love well. that part. I love that yeah. part. I want to do a lot more. Yeah. You know, get, um, being involved with people, special occasion really, and putting my little part of it uh, into their special occasion, yeah. Okay, well let's have a look at another. What else, what okay, else have then. you got? This one is called Dreams. Okay. It's one of my motivational ones and um, last week I did a, a school uh, workshop with a hundred kids split into uh, four sessions. Um, what I wanted to get to the kids, everybody has got a dream but we've got to start with a dream idea okay and when you have your dream we've just got to keep on playing it in our mind that we can we can we can have our dream okay and I said to some of the students some people might laugh at your dream some people laughed at my dream here of doing modern day poetry but if they're gonna laugh that's okay just follow your dream so this is where this came from the other morning wonderful okay let's hear so this I've said, a dream will never come true if you don't start with a dream idea. A dream won't come true if you're not prepared to take your life up another gear. Stretch, go on stretch a little more. The type of stretch like you're tiptoeing on your bedroom floor. At least once a day, imagine yourself living your dream and taking your positive self-belief somewhere powerful where it's never been. Very motivational, yeah. So I imagine the kids, how did they respond to that? Oh, they, they, they did, they did. Um, I went around some of the students to ask them uh, what their sort of dreams were. It was amazing. Um, some, some of the kids were saying they wanted to be surgeons. You know, if that's what you've got in your mind, play it out in your, your brain. I can be a surgeon you know, study mm. the, the field of being a surgeon. Whatever you want to do, you can. Just follow your dreams. So you can see there, that's when you're talking, that's your passion to motivate and inspire yeah, people. Yeah, And yeah. is that important, do you think, for the, especially for the children? Yeah, it's very important, you know, because, um, you know, I want to grow my, my business, but um, just divine. And I've had to just keep that focus. I've got to be. I've got to keep on telling myself I can. I can. I want to go to different outlets. I want to go to football clubs to get my work with their logos as a personalised poem in the club shops. I want to take my mind somewhere where it hasn't been. So really challenge yourself. I want as to well. challenge myself yeah. to all different types of corporate businesses. Mm. I want to approach them and let's have something about your business on your reception wall or your foyer wall or in your office, tell me what's special and I'll put that together. Wonderful. Well, let's yeah. hear this one. Let me pass this one to you. So what's this one? Um, this one was just um, a poem I wrote about somebody's uh, mum who passed away. Mm -hmm. um, so I do churches as well where I go and, and, and read uh, for them. So this one is called Mum, I Miss You. Mom, this personalised poem comes from the deepest part of my heart and to say, you, to say I miss you so much is where I would like to start. Mom, I loved you so much. You were everything to me and I loved how you kept things simple 
like ABC. I remember so much powerful things you used to say and I will cherish your words during my work, rest and play. When it comes to amazing moms, you're up there with the best. Mom, I know you're safe and you're just having a rest. I bet they were loving that one. Yeah. 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 So again, very deep, very personal. Yeah. Um, you take time, obviously, yeah. Dave, to, to really understand what they want from you, really. Yeah. Because yeah. If, if you like, you, you do very, they're bespoke, they're personal. That's right. So they're yeah. coming to you with their idea and you're getting that idea, yeah. you know, onto paper. Yeah, because a lot is of times... Is that how you see it? Yeah, that's, that's exactly how mm -hmm. it is, you know. Um, I've had people saying, in my heart, in my mind, I've got something to say to my partner, but I can't put it together. And that's where I come in. Just tell me what's special about your partner, what's special about your loved one. Give me those five to six special points and I will do the rest. It was quite amazing, uh, literally two days ago, um, a gentleman saw my flyer, because I try and get my flyer out to yes. uh, different events, called me up and he said, Dave, I need you to save my marriage. I need to say something to my partner and I needed to dig deep, basically. And I did the poem. I cried, he cried, and hopefully when his wife receives it, she will cry. Because, you know, it's very deep stuff that I, I deal with. Yeah. Very um, personal. Yeah, it's very personal. I don't have to Google anything. My Google's here in my heart. And all I want to do with Just Divine is let people know that I'm here and I'm providing a modern day poem service that's fit for anybody mm -hmm. of any age. And do you feel there's a need for your service? Yeah, I do. Do you feel that people now are liking more inspirational quotes? I mean, we see them all the time on social media. Yeah. Uh, you know, and they're posted everywhere. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah. And it's and Americans do it all the time. When you go to a big corporate American uh, companies, they'll right. often have inspirational quotes on the walls. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. They use that as a as an inspiration for their employees. For the employees. Yeah. 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 I mean. Um, I'm very big on um, staff recognition, mm. okay, because I came from like a corporate background. Um, back in the day, everybody was recognizing you for five years service, recognizing you for getting like a, a good deal for the company, recognizing you for, you know, whether you were employee of the month. Instead of that little gift voucher, something like this, personalized, on somebody's wall, on somebody's table, I think it's got a little bit more value than that little voucher, okay? And this is what I want to say to the corporate uh, employers. Let's recognize the staff a little bit more. It doesn't have to be a four foot frame necessarily for a member of staff to say thank you for your service. Mm. It could be one of the smaller ones, whatever the size, we can do that. But let's start remembering um, or recognising staff. And I mean, you, I understand you've written a poem for us. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Which I, have, I yeah. haven't seen, so I'm, okay. I'm very. Would you like to read that now? I would do, yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Again, this was a total surprise, and I, I don't know this to my viewers. This is just, I haven't a clue what was about to be read. <laughs> okay, then. Well, um, I've picked out my uh, bullet points okay. about Cup TV, and this is what I've put. This is a personalised poem that has never been told about a couple of TV show, that's TV Gold. It's a great programme, being seen at different places that you go. And to the elegant Monica, you are a great presenter of this show. Copper TV interviews people from North, East, South and West, UK and also international peoples as guests. Thank you to all your team for giving me quality time. And my name's Dave Wilkes of Just Divine. <laughs> That's wonderful, Dave. Thank you so much. No problem. I'll put that up on my shelf. <laughs> yes, yes, you can have So, Dave, gift. the future then, really, you want to expand, you want to really get yourself known. That's right, and yeah. And engage with more services and people. And what would you say to people that are watching the show, why they should use you and why they should come to you? Okay, um, it's a personalised service. 
Um, I've actually seen the feeling of somebody being the recipient of one of my poems. Yeah. But there's loads of things that you could do for loads of people. Most definitely. Well, Most Dave, definitely. it's been wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much for coming Thank you on very the show. much for Thank having you. me. Take care. Okay, That's thanks. it. We're going to take a quick break now, but come back and join me in just a minute.